Hello and welcome and good evening to the Broken News. I'm Sir Charles Hunt, my guest and compatriot, Dr. Michael Stroker. Good evening. I'll also get straight into the news this evening. The Bureau of Meteorology has recorded low temperatures for the past summer. Experts are already claiming that just the mention of new carbon taxes has already had an effect on the planet's weather cycle. <laughs> Climate change expert Mr. Triple Lunatic stated that if we are seeing such dramatic changes with the implementation of the tax, just imagine how the planet will be behaving after the taxes for the upgrade. It's all over for the planet, isn't it? It is. It is indeed. all over. It is indeed. The Institute of National Fitness in Canberra has rejected claims that the opposition front bencher Joe Hockey is looking unwell and unfit for oh, duty. Really? You should see him running when the Parliament cafeteria <laughs> opens at 10 a.m. Fast, says a confidential source. I think that, uh, that Olympic sprinter's in trouble for the Olympic Games, do you think? What's his name? Mr. Bolt. Oh, yes. He's in serious trouble with Joe Hockey going to the cafeteria, I can tell you that. Uh, yes, and Australian researchers are beginning a nationwide treatment of uh, white pointer sharks with a sixth mat six-month mass infusion of soluble antibiotics and an attempt to prepare them for the forthcoming beach tourist season. White shark spokesperson has said that tourists often carry life-threatening diseases that our sharks are just not used to and it's wise to build up the shark's immunity well in advance of the summer. I guess they should start that program up around Christmas Island. It wouldn't be bad at Christmas Island. And also, you know, what's wrong with the sharks getting a bit of Japanese takeaway? I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. They all love it, don't you? I see they do. Keep going to the news, Joker. They're looking at us. And the Beluga ALP has more problems this week with an ongoing saga of the sensational Craig Thompson affair. Labor management are distraught, as Mr. Thompson really was the only person in the Labor camp who could properly organise a tour of a brothel. Was he? He's a valuable person, isn't he? Can you imagine yes. losing him. What are they going to do on weekends in, in Parliament House now? I don't know. It's just all over for them. I wouldn't join. I certainly wouldn't be a parliamentarian now. That's gone. Those fringe benefits, if you know what I mean. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is good news here. Look, the Land Rights for Gay Whales movement has achieved a milestone last week with the successful introduction of a private members bill into Parliament. There's more of those private members bills than Craig Thompson. Anyway, as of next year, gay whales will also be able to be married at SeaWorld. Gay whales spokesperson Roger Humpback said it was very good news that gay whales now should have the same rights as straight seals and dolphins. Isn't that lovely? It's very good news indeed. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. There's it's nice things happening in the world. Very good news indeed. Yes. The IMF. Hey, IMF, what's IMF? Uh, I think it's the International Mothers Fund or something like that. Yes. Has been criticised by the United Brothel Agency. Yes, that's what it is. Yes. Keep going, sorry. In a stinging rebuke by Chairperson Miss Penny Bunger. Oh, Penny's back. Oh, good. Mm. Mm. Because the US dollar has gone up and down more times than the night workers' underwear, Miss mm. Penny Bunger is claiming IP. With, What's high P? I want to pee and do it after the show. <laughs> and trademark infringement. Mm. She states, we won't be lying down for this huge breach of pat patent. Well, maybe we will, but it's still a massive breach. Oh, Penny, I remember. She had a huge breach, didn't she? Not the old days. Anyway, look, uh, it's some good news here at last, Stroke, uh, in a world of bad news. The Australian United Camel Riders Association this week has welcomed news that all new camels being bred in Australia will now have to have two humps instead of one. <laughs> Well-known camel outback breeder, Shake Chocolate, although welcoming this development, was just wondering if anyone had actually told the camels of this news. I'd be looking forward to two humps. Two humps is always preferable to one, one hump. Absolutely. Yes, in my yes. two humps is always better. Much better. Yes. Back to medical science, researchers at the Institute for the Development of Large Male Appendages <laughs> have been encouraged by some new genetic work just completed. Mm. Scientists have managed to genetically insert an elephant gene into a man's, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Chief scientist, Helmut Flute, mm. said that the only, change, the only change to solve was to stop the man's massive, you know what, from mm. consistently searching for leaves and twigs and placing those leaves and twigs at the poor man's back passage. It would be a problem in autumn, wouldn't it? It's autumn would be hell. Particularly, yes. Autumn would be hell. Particularly autumn. Especially if you did it like pine forests and rose bushes and stuff like that. It'd just be torture, wouldn't it? Mind you, I have some friends who actually probably like that. Anyway, I think that uh, that actually might be the end of the segment. And um, thank you for joining us. We're going to break news.
You old mangrove, sir. Right, thank you very much. Oh, say, good news. Gin's here, old boy. Oh, jolly good. Oh, jolly good. Bottoms up. Cheers. Bottoms down, actually. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Oh, just marvellous, isn't it? Just marvellous. I, I say, Joker, it says here in the paper that one of the Harlem Globetrotters was bitten on the wee wee by a snake recently. Did you read that nonsense? Bitten on the wee wee? Oh dear, how unpleasant for the Globetrotter. Yeah, bloody unpleasant, right? Bitten on the wee wee. I mean, that's a terrible thing to happen, isn't it? I just can't imagine what it'd be like. It says, it says here as well, it was very, very unpleasant for the poor snake as well. It's got a picture here. It, it, the snake apparently was dribbled, bounced past, rebounded, and slam dunked for its efforts. Oh my god. My god indeed. My god indeed. The poor snake. Let me tell you something here, Stroko. Let me tell you here. There is a distinct lesson here somewhere, Stroker, and I think it's something like this. Never, ever, ever, ever bite a Harlem Globetrotter on the wee-wee. That's my advice, don't you think? Yes. <laughs>